Oh, another one. Come here, dude. Oh, man. Come here. And look at him. He's got a face full of nasty, nasty weeds. Come here. Just a little guy. Get back in there. Everybody, when they come to a lake, they want to cast as far out in the middle of the lake as they can. Oh, there's a fish. Man, oh, man. These things don't let me talk or what? Oh, that's a good one, too. Come here. Another one bites my crank. Get back in the water, dude. I tell you what, one of the things that blows me away about shore anglers, and we all make the same mistake, we get to a lake, river, stream, doesn't matter where you're fishing, and what do we want to do? We want to cast as far out into the middle of the lake as we can. Now you talk to an angler that's on a boat, they go out in the middle of the lake and they cast as close to the shore as they possibly can. Don't make that mistake. We always think the grass is greener on the other side. One of the things that I'll first do when I get to a new body of water is I might make some casts out in the middle, but when I get a fish in a certain zone, I'll repeatedly cast there. I'll start paralleling that shoreline because there's a reason that fish is there. Maybe it's a weed bed. Maybe it's a drop off. Maybe it's a rock. Maybe it's a stump, but there's a reason that fish is there. And don't always think that casting way out in the middle is the answer because so far today, paralleling the shore has been the deal. Oh, there he, oh, he ate it. This is a little guy. Come here, dude. I'm going to rush you in here. Get over here. Get back in there. Like I said, it doesn't matter where you're fishing. You know that there's these bluegills and pumpkin seeds swimming around. That's why I've chosen this. When you're fishing from the shore, you want to use bait fish that live around the shore. And bluegill and pumpkin seed are definitely one of them. This bad boy right here is a wake bait. And what does it do? It just basically sits right below the water. I mean, it's only going down a foot, maybe a foot and a half. And if I reel it in the right position, I can actually make a weight with this bait. What does that look like? An injured or wounded bluegill. And what does that look like to a bass? Dinner.